someone had told me once, happy people love spicy food. Just a few ingredients and you can have this awesome chili sauce ready. Before you start, roast three ingredients, chili, garlic, and shallot. I'm roasting these ingredients to bring out the flavor of all the spices. You will need half a cup of warm water, one fourth cup and one tablespoon of vinegar, two teaspoons of sugar, two teaspoons of salt, one cup of Thai chili, one medium sized shallot, six cloves of garlic, and one teaspoon of lemon zest. Also, one teaspoon of cornstarch. Roast three ingredients just like that without oil, chili, shallot, and garlic. Cut open each chili and remove seeds beforehand. I would wear glove on one hand, the hand you hold each chili. It's okay to leave some seeds behind. Um, however, if you want it more spicy, you leave more seeds. It also adds color to your chili sauce as well. Less spicy, less seeds. Roast them into shallot and garlic turn lightly golden brown just like that and then turn off the heat. Once done, um, get your food processor ready and add all these ingredients into the food processor and blend it um, for a good 5 to 10 minutes. Now add in 2 teaspoons of salt, 2 teaspoons of sugar, 1 teaspoon of cornstarch, a half cup of water, 1 fourth cup and 1 tablespoon of vinegar. Blend all the ingredients into a paste. Use a strainer or a um, colander to remove the sauce and save the residue to add in later. I'm going to add the uh, blended uh, chili and garlic and uh, shallot into my sauce after I boil the salt. Notice I added one teaspoon of cornstarch earlier. That's why I need to bring it to boil to thicken my chili sauce. If you enjoy watching this recipe so far and you find it useful, give me a thumbs up, please share, like and subscribe. Last ingredient is to zest in 1 teaspoon of lemon. I cannot tell you how flavorful this chili sauce is until you give it a try. Leave a comment below to let me know how it tastes. Now I'm just going to pour the chili sauce into a nice clean glass jar or mason jar and leave it at room temperature for a good two hours and then you can chill it in the refrigerator. This chili sauce is especially good with Hainam chicken with rice and my other Vietnamese recipes. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye now.